What a beautiful morning it is. Unfortunately, we're not taking that car, we're taking the Civic. spare time until I get my parts so I decided to hit the beach for a little bit because we're in Oceanside. Picked up some uh, parts that I got vapor blasted and I am excited. Here is the place where I went, cryo heat. They're in Oceanside so if you're ever in the northern part of San Diego definitely check them out. Let's go take a look at these parts now and give my honest thorough review. Here's what we are working with. These are all 90s parts off my intake manifold so they were super crusty. I wasn't recording at the time. If you take a look this is a throttle body and from my own opinion this is pretty spotless like this is way better than what you're ever gonna get from like doing it at home. I'll show you all the parts. There was a little bit of miscommunication. I thought they could weld aluminum. Turns out they can't. So these holes I have to get filled up by another person. I have someone in mind. Look at these parts. They look brand new. Don't they? This is gonna look awesome. It literally looks like paint. Aluminum paint. On the plastic it did no harm, I don't think. So we'll we'll find out once I install these stuff. Over here. Wow. Stuff like these parts too. This is for the PCV that goes in my car. And this was zinced, so I, I believe right now all of the coating is off. I am wondering how it'll do under corrosion and rust. Fuel rail. Can't wait to put this to use and how I'll look on the car. Lastly, here's the big finale. Wow. Nice blank intake manifold. Super nice. The surfaces are clean as they should be. Now, everything is in one place. As you can tell, most of the intake manifold and exhaust manifold side are almost done. Okay, now I'm on the wrong side of the road, taking my beloved Sylvia out, and we are gonna have some fun today. Okay, let's get some tea. Package acquired. Let's do a taste test. Sir Coffee. Not bad. If you also search it up, Babe Kombucha is in the same building. And if you like kombucha or tea, coffee, whatever, they have it all. We have a little to catch up on. Inside my car, if you guys didn't know, I have a CA18. These came in the earlier models of the S13s and it's a 1.8 liter four cylinder. I unfortunately have the NA version. So I do have an engine on the side. I am getting ready. It's gonna be turboed. Very simple setup and I cannot wait. Unfortunately, this engine's only been in here for like a year or two, but it's time for a change. I'm super excited for what's to come. Ever since the track, to be honest, I'm going with a super stock setup, so nothing too crazy. And my overall goal for this car is to be super reliable. If, unfortunately, the turbo engine does not work, something goes wrong then i always have this one that's already in it to put back in you know what i'm not excited about i'm not running ac and heater although it's for the best longevity the blah 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 the car has overall been dying for my attention it needs more love and this is the perfect way to show it it's hard to believe that's my car nowadays i've been Definitely out of it, you guys can tell I haven't been posting. I've been struggling with something I can't really put my hands on. Hear me out and comment down below if 
you're relating to me. Basically, um, I work on a snap-on truck. I am going about my life working each and every day. Day-to-day -day life is not too bad. I wake up, I am thankful to have everything that I do. Living a decent life. I have a room to sleep in. I have a support system. I couldn't ask for more. When it comes to my actual path in life, that's where it's nowhere where I want it to be. And that's the thing that lingers and bothers me throughout the weeks, months, even these years lately. <laughs> I'm really trying to work through this and actually work on things that matter to me and not work to enjoy my daily life. <laughs> I notice too when I'm not working on say videos or anything that's important to me there becomes a dullness in life maybe you could call it brain fog essentially when I'm not working on something that matters to me then my brain's all out of whack like I could barely remember stuff nowadays I'm not trying to stress myself too much about making videos it is very important to me and I want you guys to know that there most definitely will be more to come first off I'm in need of a haircut <laughs>